Hello YouTube! Um, so my name's Colleen. I was recently inspired by The Candy Show, or Cami Palmiter, if you're Canadian and you know who that is, that's great. Um, her 2017 reading list. Uh, I've been blogging for the past 10-ish years um, with mild success. Um, so I decided to like try YouTube, see how it goes. Um, so right now, I'm in a book club, so I'm going to share with you those books for 2017 that I'm reading as well as ones that I want to read in 2017 and a whole entire stack of lofty goals that I have. Um, typically I read more than two books a month. Um, I have committed to one book a month. Um, there are some classics here in my stacks that you can't see off to the side um, and I find that they can take a lot of time and a lot of brain and a lot of naps. So in months where I'm reading classics might only read two books but um, that's all a preamble and let's get right to it. I was going to make signs, uh, but then I couldn't find any markers. So this is off to a great start already. Um, so for January for book club, uh, we read various positions. Um, it's about ballet. Um, I have already finished this book. I finished it on the third day of January. Very on top of my book club books. Um, I liked it a lot. It's by a Canadian, uh, which is really cool. One of the things that I've been trying to do is read more Canadian books, although Canadian lit isn't necessarily my thing. Um, this one was really good. I really enjoyed it out of all the books that we've read in book club so far this year since September uh, when it started. This one has by far been my favorite. A little weird, a little twisted. Um, and as Lynn Cody says on the back of the book, um, it explores the ever-changing or ever-shifting fault lines between the sex lives and sexual ob objectification of teenage girls. Um, so very important subject matter, very cool. Um, this month for my personal books, I've been reading 1984. Uh, I've been reading it with a friend um, who I went to school with who has moved away. Um, I am about three quarters of the way through-ish. Um, I'm just waiting for her to catch up so we can talk about it together. Um, if all goes well, you'll be hearing from me again at the end of the month and I'll tell you all about how I like this book. So far, so good. I um, have a few complaints, but I think that's mostly because I have already read um, Brave New World, We, and Fahrenheit 451. They're all very similar. All very good, but very similar themes. Some of them are written better than others. Alas, moving on. Um, for book club for February, we are reading Rue, another Canadian novel. Don't know too much about it. It's pretty short, um, but looking forward to reading it. Most of the picks have been good so far. So that's for February for book club. For February, for my personal reading, I'm going to try and finish Anna Karenina. I have been reading this book on and off for five years now, um, which is excessive. I'm on page 323 currently with a whole bunch of quotes that I like. Um, haven't been so in love with it so far. I don't like Anna as a person, which makes it hard to get through. Um, I hear it's one of those books that you need to read at different life stages so you get different things out of it. Um, don't know if I'm going to start it from the beginning. Might just pick up where I left off, um, spark notes the first few chapters that I've been through and see how it goes from there. But that's February for you. Um, I didn't plan this very well because I don't own all the books for a book club. Um, so there's some books that I can't show you the covers of, which is a little bit sad um, because seeing covers is great. Uh, so in March, which I'll be ordering very soon, um, we are reading The Better, uh, the Better Mother by Jen, whose last name I cannot pronounce. I'm very sorry. Um, it will be in the description, so if you're curious about it, please look it up. Um, this was not one of my picks. It was my friend's pick. Um, she's picked a good book so far, so hopefully this one's good as well. It does sound interesting. Don't know much about it because I had bought my book, so there we are. Um, for my personal books in February, I'm going to be reading Catch-22 um, with another friend, hopefully. Um, me and her have had this book for over a year now and every month or two we're like oh we should read our book together again and uh, then a month goes by and we say well we haven't read this book yet. Um, there's another book in my lofty goal stack over here which as you can tell by my arm height is quite high um, that uh, I'm also going to read with her at some point in the next month um, hopefully so you will see that soon also. In April uh, in my book club we are going to read In the Country We Love um, by a well-known actress, Diana Guerrero. Again, 
sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly. I think you're great. I'm very looking forward to reading this book. It was a pick from one of my friends. Um, so again, don't know too much about it. It is her autobiography, so it should be very interesting. Um, in April, I'm also reading Foundations by Isaac Asimov. Um, I'm very excited for this. I have owned it for many, many years. Um, I've been waiting to give it the time that it deserves. Um, I know I'm going to like it because who doesn't like some classic sci-fi? Um, but hopefully it will bring more sci-fi into my life shortly afterwards. In May, my book club is reading Pride and Prejudice. I love this series of books. Um, Premier Classics chapters stock them for quite a long time. Um, they recently have stopped, which is a shame. I think they are beautiful. The spines all look the same. Very nice, very classic. They all have really nice pictures on the front. Um, I'm a little bit apprehensive about this. It's one of those books that everybody reads and everybody loves. Typically, um, books that everyone loves aren't books that I'm totally into. Um, I also, the last book that I read by Jane Austen took me a very long time to read. It was six years ago, so, you know, a lot's changed. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Looking forward to watching the movie for this one. So, excited for that. In May, I am also reading Breakfast of Champions by Kurt Vonnegut. He's one of my favorite authors. Love reading his works. Um, this is one of the ones that is frequently recommended to me that I haven't read. I've read Slaughterhouse Five, um, Cat's Cradle, and this collection of short stories, which name I cannot remember. Welcome to the Monkey House. There you are. Um, already, I love them all, so I'm very excited to read Breakfast of Champions and then delve further into his work later on. Um, so in June, my book club's reading So Sad Today. Again, another book I don't own yet. I typically order a book a month before we read it just to keep budgets in line. Um, it's about a blogger and depression, so probably not a book that I want to read in my birthday month, but you know, we'll see how it goes. In that month, I am also going to read a book which I also don't have, The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. It's been a series that I've been looking to get into for a very long time. My dad owns all the books. Um, so that's going to be June. I'm very excited for June. July, um, I'm actually reading a book that I own that I didn't think to pull over here because I've already read it. For book club, I'm um, reading The Girl on the Train. I don't like it that much. It's just like an okay read, very quick. Um, dealt with a lot of domestic violence and alcoholism, which was interesting. Not really my type of book. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone else thinks about it when they read it. Um, also watching the movie because it's one of the plans that we had for that. I'm also going to be reading Never Let Me Go. Um, it's a great copy. It has orange pages on the side and the inside is white, which I like because I don't like strange colored paper. Um, though I have found out that strange colored fonts is a plus. Um, I've watched the movie several times in love with the movie very excited to read the book. My brother read it a few years ago for his class um, that was mandatory for engineers about English. Um, he really liked it so chances are I'm gonna like it too. Then in August, um, this is the last book club book that I can show you um, because we haven't picked September through December yet. Uh, we might in the next month um, at a meeting. If we do, I'll update you, tell you what we're reading, give you some ideas. Um, but in August, we are reading Norwegian Wood. Very excited. Loved 1Q84. Apparently, I missed a lot because I hadn't read 1984, which is now in my large stack of books, um, according to my good friend Alex. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, again, very excited for this. Love him as an author. think he's great. Um, in August, I'm also going to read Call the Midwife. Um, I love the PBS show. I think it's just wonderful. Um very excited to read this book. I've owned it for a year, about at the same time as I bought um, Testament of Youth, conveniently in the same section. Um, so very much looking forward to that. So in September, I'm going to read Treasure Island. Um, again, something that I've been looking forward to reading for a while. I actually have two copies. I'm going to be reading this one, another premier classic. Um, I have an antique version. It's up on my antique shelf. I'll probably show that to you after I finish reading this book. Um, you can look at that book, see how pretty it is, stuff like that. Um, very excited for that. In November, 
October when I wrote it down, switched up my months a little bit. I'm reading Do The Island of Dr. Moreau. Um, so right now I am watching Orphan Black with my dad. It's a lot of fun, really great show, um, great acting. And uh, in the one of the seasons, I don't know what season we're on, um, Doctor, The Island Dr. Moreau plays a good part in it, big part. Um, I have owned this book for many years. It was a required reading for one of my English classes, which I did not do. Again, not an English major, perhaps that's why. Um, but very excited for that book. In November, another book I forgot to pull off my shelf because I didn't read my notes properly. I'm going to read American Gods. Um, I've owned that book for probably six years, five years enough years that it should have already been read. Um, it was recommended to me by several of my friends. Um, Emma is one of them, I believe. Also, uh, Alex and several other people. So I'm really looking forward to reading that. I've only ever heard good things. Um, they're making a TV show I heard, so another good reason to read a book. Get to ingest it in different mediums. Very excited about that. And finally, in December, I'm a new book that I've never read before. I probably should have read at some point in my life uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, a lot of people were upset about the new book that she released. Um, so I'd read the original and maybe read the new one. See how it goes. Anyways, on to the Lofty Goals pile. So I was part of that book swap thing. I only ever got one book. Um, it is All Quiet at the Western Front. I'm going to read that hopefully this year. It's going to be really good. Um, finally want to finish Game of Thrones. Read the last one in June. Um, apparently he's publishing a new book. I'm not holding my breath for that. Um, Trust Passes on the Roof of the World. This was lent to me by my brother because um, I was interested in map making for a while. There's some stories about map making in here as well as colonialism. Um, so should be fun. Um, I want to finish rereading Sophie's World. I started this uh, a couple years ago when um, my own online book club was pretty big uh, and uh, then that kind of fizzled. Um, I overextended all of the moderators and myself. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and finish Sophie's World. Same with Cosmos. Um, I have been heavily annotating this as I've gone um, with my degree in the history of science. There's just some things in here that is just like, not quite right. However, it is a lovely book. Love Carl Sagan. The show is great. Um, it's a great introduction to the history of science for masses as well as science generally. Um, so I want to finish that, see how it goes. Um, as you can see, I'm about a third of the way through. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. I also want to finish Ulysses. Um, this is the one thing that I can say that probably isn't going to happen, though I feel like putting it as a goal, maybe it will. Um, I'm like a quarter of the way through. It has been rough so far, um, so if you have any online resources that you want to send me to make this easier, uh, please put that in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, right now I'm taking a course called Problems in Geometry, um, which covers Euclidean and non euclidean geometry. So I want to finish that textbook, obviously, because textbooks are important and I like to review them. That way, you know, if people pay attention, you know, they'll know what I think. But I also want to read Euclid's Elements. I bought these many years ago because they're fun. Um, these guys are by Dover, one of my favorite publishers actually um, for anything mathematical. Um, they have lots of things. They have nice diagrams on the front. Um, there we are. I read Carl Boyer's um, The History of Calculus and its Conceptual Development a few years ago, also published by Dover. Um, really like that. Um, great all the way through. Good font size, good book size. No complaints. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how these turn out. Hopefully they have good diagrams in them because that's very important to geometry, but we'll see. Um, finally, the last two books on my goal side um, that I have here. I also want to read The Name of the Rose, recommended to me by a different Alex than the Alex that I mentioned before. I know, very confusing. Um, very excited to read that. Should have been in this pile, but it isn't. Anyways, the last two books. Um, this one, The Queen of Tearling, and this one, The Explorer's Guild Volume 1 by Kevin Costner. Um, Lofty Golds, again. Um, both of these books are books I'm supposed to read with my friend Jacqueline. Um, we're supposed to start this one in January. It is the 18th of January. Still haven't started yet. Yeah. But we'll see how it goes. Should happen soon. And I don't know if she has this book yet, but it's one that we talked about reading together. So hopefully she'll get it. 
or I'll get it for her and give it to her as a gift. We'll see what happens. Um, but it's really cool. It has comic books on the inside as well as pages of writing. Um, the paper is really nice too. It's kind of antiqued, uh, which doesn't really show up well on my camera. Fortunately, I couldn't find my other camera. Hence the low quality, which will get better in time. Um, if you watch this, thank you so much. Uh, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the bottom. Uh, hopefully you'll be hearing from me in a couple of weeks uh, with my January stack. I'm going to review books in month-to-month -month basis. Um, some months are going to be obviously heavier for school than others, as well as heavier in books than others. So I thought I'd just wrap it all up in one instead of having to talk for like five to ten minutes on one book. Sometimes there's just not that much to say. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. Hopefully see you soon. I hope you liked it. Subscribe. Yeah.